Hey everybody, it's Will here again. Hope y'all are doing well. And I want to take a second at the start of this to thank all of the new subscribers and supporters of the channel. Uh, all your positive feedback, comments, and shares are greatly appreciated. Thank you for helping to kick off my 2020 with a bang. Today, we're talking about another cool guitar from my personal collection. This is a 1963 Gibson SG Standard. Now, this guitar falls pretty squarely in the player's grade category due to the black refin and several other changes, which I'll go over. But a stock in 63, the SG stock would have had a mahogany body, mahogany neck, uh, rosewood fingerboard, Brazilian rosewood with the mother of pearl inlays, would have had the... Uh, trapezoid shaped inlays it would have had two PAF or patent number humbucking pickups with nickel covers all the hardware actually would have been nickel and it would have had an ABR1 bridge as well as a maestro vibrato tailpiece or perhaps some had factory Bigsby's which this may have been one I don't know uh, and then the electronics layout of two volumes two tones and a three-way toggle switch now as I said, this guitar is a player's grade. So what's been done to it? Well, it's been totally stripped and refinished in black. Uh, whoever did the refinish job did a really nice job, although they didn't use nitrocellulose lacquer. It's probably like a poly or something. I think most of the work done to this guitar was done probably in the 1990s. It was all done before I acquired it. It has a uh, Godo. Uh, bridge and tailpiece here. It has Seymour Duncan 59s in both positions here. And the tuners are a set of late 60s, early 70s Clusens that you would have seen on maybe a Les Paul Deluxe or something of that period. A cool thing about this guitar that I really like, um, from the SG's introduction in, probably in 61, uh, when it was still called the Les Paul, the earliest models had a fairly slim taper neck profile, and that was the big selling feature at that point, going from the sort of rounder big profile to the slimmer one. But by about 1963, they had actually gone back to a fuller, rounder neck shape, and that you see kind of from 63 to 64 um, was sort of the years where it was the bigger, rounder neck and still had the 1 and 11 16th nut width before they went small in 65. So that's why I like this guitar a lot, primarily, is that it's got that great kind of 63, 64 round, closer to a 50 style neck, which I find very, very comfortable on this guitar. Uh, it's kind of similar to the spec of, I don't know, like the SG that clapped and played the Fool guitar or something like that. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good instrument, and I look forward to sharing some sound samples of it with you. The story behind how I acquired this one, I bought this from a guitar shop that I worked for for many years called Gig Street Music here in Halifax. And it was one that my boss had found, and uh, when he brought it over for me to check it out, I said I had to have it. So I had a red 80s prehistoric reissue SG, so I sold that and bought this. This is a main stage guitar for me, and uh, I really enjoy getting to play it. Uh, I do have a couple of modifications planned for this eventually. It did have some pickup covers on here, but the previous owner had epoxied them on, which made it squeal quite heavily at high gain, so I had to remove those covers. I'd like to get some aged nickel covers for it, and possibly even put a, um, a push-pull pod in here to flip the... Uh, flip the phase to get the sort of Peter Green or some of those old school blues uh, out of phase tones. Anyway, thanks for taking the time to listen to this, and I hope you enjoy the sound samples. Take care. 